Hello and welcome back to my RimWorld Let's Play series, where in today's episode um, I think we're going to be focusing on food sources because we are... Um, where's the food? Okay, we're not totally low on food, but we need to be able to make some. So, let's, um, let's fast forward time here. We have a dead um, turkey and we want to butcher that up and... I guess make some turkey <laughs> um, and we're going to be able to do that once we get some workstations down also we have the um, tortoise um, I was saying it wrong I think in the last episode um, it has been um, patched up healed and I think it's going to survive um, though, it, though it is in extreme pain so We'll have to see if it survives or not. We have we've tried in a way. It came at us and attacked us. Um, so we'll have to see if we can save it or not. Anyways, let's go to production. I think it is. Uh, yeah, because we need the butcher table. I will go with wood, because that's what we have most of. And Q and E to rotate it, and I'll place it right about. Yeah, here because it's right next to the fr to the um, refrigerator um, and then we also want a um, electric stove right here it's going to cost metal and it's also going to require that we um, that we take some power lines all the way up here so we'll be sure to do that as well I think I'll put it yeah right next to the door there we go because that will enable us to um, to let one of our people here butcher up this turkey and then after that cook it so we will get some meals um, there are a few more details once we actually have made these but um, I'll get into that um, our battery is filling up we can see the yellow bar in here and also we can see the level um, yellow bar here on the solar panel which shows us um, how much energy that we're actually getting and we're getting maximum so that's perfect then we also need because this thing needs some um, power we will then need some power cables all the way up here through the wall um, we should have enough metal to do to do that anyway and while we are also doing that we need to set up some growing zones so we can start getting some crops going and i think this area over here is going to be the best um, suitable place for it because down here we are we have a lot of um, mud we cannot really build on that actually can we um because it's in zone and areas and grow zone okay we can actually do it on top of this so maybe we'll put it like back here or something um, I might expand the building like this way in the future. Maybe we should... You know what, I think we should have it up here for now anyway. We can always move it, so I think we'll do it up here. Um, okay, so we have the butcher table, bills. Um, we can add bill, butcher, creature. And we'll do... Um, do until you have do forever basically because what this will do is that every time there's a creature or a dead um, animal in here it will get butchered and it's not like we're going to have um, like dead animals in here constantly so that's good um, electric stove looks like we have power all the way up yes we do indeed so in here this is going to be interesting simple meal fine meal and lavish meal I'm going to go with simple meal first um, I can not remember the um, ingredients so the fine meal and the good meal or what it's called what's it called lavish meal is going to yeah it's a bit more detailed and stuff so I'm just going to go with simple meal I think for now and do until you have X. And since we're three people, I'm guessing that they might be eating three times a day. So let's put it till we have 10, um, 10 meals. Um, I think that should do. 
we can always bump it up. And it's good to have extra in case the chef gets hit by a gunshot or something in a five fight. Okay, so Crafter is now going ahead and butchering the um to the turkey. Let's also get um a sleeping area. Let's get a um let's get a let's get a small table, a two by two one. Let's put it right here in the middle and then put some um yeah, let's use dining chairs, shall we? So let's put two here and then two here. There we go. Now we have 10 turkey meat and he's taking 10 of those and cooking them and we should get some simple meals. And there we go. He just crafted simple meals. But we're going to need a lot more than that. So um, I'm going to... Um, well, I was hoping I could select many berry bushes, but you know what? That's fine. Um... Actually, there's a ton, like, here. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, I was trying to select many in an area and then say harvest, but that's fine. We are going to put some growing zones down. Now, where should... I think they should be over here, somewhere. Okay, so let's place them up here-ish. Um... You know what? I think here is good. I'm going to make each grow zone, I think, a 5x5 five five area to start with. So I'm going to make one there, then I'm going to make one here. I'm going to make six. Now this may sound like a lot, but we are going to need just about everything that we can grow here. So we have one here. They will on their own remove the bushes and trees and stuff like that. Now over here we can select the kind of plant that we want to um to have in this growing area grow area. Um, hold up. Rare thrombo. A small herd of thrombos have wandered into the area. Peaceful by nature, these rare creatures are extremely dangerous when confront confronted. Some traders are willing to pay a lot of money for their precious leather and horn. Thrombos will leave the area in a few days. Oh, these guys. Oh, they're beautiful. I'm not going to hunt them, I'm going to protect them. If I can. Welcome. <laughs> that's nice. Um, yes, as I was saying, we can select what we want to grow in our grow zones. And I think potatoes, this one is set to grow potatoes, which is fine with me. Um, I think I want in this one, I think I want... Um, I want... Man, there's so much to choose. We can also plant trees, but I don't think I want that just yet. We might want it in the future. I'm going to select strawberries and over here... I'm going to select hmm, cotton. We might want cotton in the future. And over here, uh, I'm searching for something specific. I can't remember what it's called. Um, hold on. Heel root. I want that because there we go. Um, heel root requires eight skill in growing to sow. None of your non-drowned growers have this skill. Oh no. Oh, that's bad because we use this heal root to um to make medicine. Oh no. Well, doesn't look like we will be doing that then. Okay, you know what? Let's just do a double of everything. So strawberry, cotton and potatoes. So potato, potato, potato and strawberry, strawberry, cotton and cotton. That'll do for now. Um I'm a little worried that we can't grow our own heel root because we use that to craft medicine. But when looking around, there is actually a bunch of it around here. So it might not be such a big problem. Like, I don't... maybe... I don't know. Harvest? Will that do that it... like... Um, that it... Um, What's the word? That it houses it, like it will never be there again, or if it, or is it like when you pluck a tree from, pluck an apple from a tree, <laughs> um, and then it will grow back later on? I don't actually know. We'll have to see. Um, 
Yeah, I haven't played I have played Rimworld before, but I'm not um I don't know everything about it, so I am learning. Okay, so he's um he's har harvesting wild heal root, so let's see what's going to happen. We're getting a, quite a lot of berries here, which is good from the berry bushes. Yeah. It's as I was worried about. It gets taken completely. Um that's not what I really wanted to happen. Harvest failed. Oh, we cannot even harvest it. Can we? No. Oh wait, what's this? Herbal medicine. Fresh, not refrigerated spoils in two years. Wow. Uh, I think one, actually... I think he might have managed to get one. Which is good. Um, let's just try one more. Um, maybe I selected some that weren't ready to be harvested, like this one is ready to harvest, this one isn't, this one isn't either, this one is ready to harvest, um, this one is, let's see, let's just see what happens. We definitely need some more medicine, um, is medicine like a thing that's allowed in here uh, foods um, can't find medicine there medicine not allowed there we go um so far so good this um he's still alive pain is less now it's it was at 80% when we started this episode, now it's at 60%, which is good. Let's just speed up time here. So I think we are actually doing pretty good. Um, so far so good. We got grow zones down, we can also see a few plants that have been um, planted here. And our refrigerator is at, where can I see the temperature, oh there, minus 5 Celsius. Which means this stuff won't spoil. Frozen won't spoil, which is perfect. But we need more food than what we get from our farms. We need to go hunting. And I know for a fact, because I've played it before, that these guys, muffalos, they give a lot of meat. So I want to hunt one of them. Just one. And I think... Crafter is the one with the yeah, he's the one with the hunting rifle and I gave him that because he's the best shooter so I Will put him to hunt in the morning. Oh, hold up Just resume normally. Okay consuming simple meal. Can I order him to prioritize? Yes So while he's done when he's done eating I will um, I will order him to go and um have a chat with that muffle lord. Not not muffle lord, sorry. Uh what's it called again? Muffalo. These names. Um so now what's he doing? Relaxing. That's fine. I might want to add another battery here, so I think we'll do that if I have enough for it. Yeah. There we go. And let's just add another wall to it right there. And we want to keep them indoors because when it's raining, they uh, could explode. So we don't really want that. Okay, he's going hunting. Oh, that's that thing. Thrumbo. Okay, so he's... Wow. He needs to get a little closer, I think. He's not hitting. Okay, I'll just uh, leave, him, leave him at it. Leave him to it. Hopefully the animal won't endure too much pain. I think he's good at what he's doing. Um, let's see over here. We should probably also get power over to these rooms here so we can get some light in there because I don't think they are too happy with um, with being like um, in the dark. So I'll put a lamp here and here and then we should get some power over here as well. I 
think I'll lead it through down here and over here and then all the way up here. Did the cat just... Oh no, what happened? Uh, I think this work. Yeah, it ate it. Wow. Um, please don't hurt us. Oh, he got it. Well, that's good. Okay, good. So we got that. Now he's going to butcher it as well. That's good. Um, yeah, so far so good in our colony here. We got um, we got some growth zones down. Hopefully they will work at that a little bit more. Once they got the battery and stuff like that done. Looks good. I also want some people doing some cleaning. So I might at some point start um, fiddling with these orders here. Like getting crafter to maybe do some more stuff. Or one of them to do some more stuff. I don't know. Priori prioritize maybe cleaning a bit and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe. But I know he's cooking now. So that's good. We got a bunch of meat out of that. So that's very good. Now let's place that last wall. There we go. Perfect. Now it says up here, um, animals don't attack doors. So these are just some tips for bidding doors and mining. Need defenses. Yes, we do need defenses. But when I was playing RimWorld um, security, we had a turret here right from the get-go. But now we don't. We only have deadfall traps. Um, a suspended spiked weight held up by a delicate trigger. When the victim disturbs the trigger, the weight is released and falls on his head or torso. We might want to make a few of those and also sand back so we can easily defend like this front here. Um, up here as well we might want to add some defenses like over here because over here we are completely exposed. We also have a huge building in here with I don't know what. We also need defenses like here and over here. So I think we might want to um, might want to focus on that in the next episode. We also got some leather out of that. That's cool. Um, I think I'll reduce the bills to just 10. I think that'll do. Then he just has to make more um, in in a day, I guess, but that's fine. How's that this guy doing? Um, I think he's going to survive. I think so. Can we do anything? No. So, only complaint is ugly environment. Crafter, I'm feeling bad. Awful bedroom. My bedroom is... What? My bedroom is an awful place. I don't know why. But, um... Well, ugly environment, in little pain, night owl in daytime. I don't like working during the day. Well, you can just go to bed, really. <laughs> um, let's see, what are your feeling bad, awful bedroom, ugly environment? I don't understand their complaints about their bedrooms, but if you have any tips and suggestions to the colony itself, actually, feel free to... Um, to suggest go right ahead I can't think of everything <laughs> um, so yeah if you have any ideas and stuff be sure to share them with me this guy is beautiful with that horn anyways I think I will call it an episode I hope you enjoyed and if you did remember to leave a like comment and share it with your friends and if you're new to the channel remember to subscribe anyways I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time where I think we're going to be focusing on defenses and also mining because we got we're running a bit low on okay we have uh, run out of steel apparently and we are going to be needing some more but we can mine it right in here compact steel and there's also a bunch of it here what's this it's compact machinery okay we'll have to take a look at that as well um, and maybe we'll also have to take a look at what's inside here and eventually this huge room up here as well. So much to explore, so much to do. Yeah, we also got steel over here. Slate, limestone, yeah. We'll focus on that in the next episode, mining and doing defenses. 
But anyways, with that being said, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye.